Founded in 1999, the United States Army Heritage and Education Center is part of the U.S. Army War College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and is supported by the private nonprofit Army Heritage Center Foundation. The center is the primary research facility for U.S. Army history and includes exhibits and a library open to the public. American History TV visited to see a selection of artifacts in the conservation and storage facility, which is not open to the public. My name is Jim McNally, and I am the Curator of Art for the United States Army. My responsibility is to collect, preserve, and interpret Army art history. And what that means is, uh, specifically, is my concern is where art images and Army history come together to tell the story of the American soldier. This is the most amazing flag here. This is a Confederate flag that would cap captured at the Battle of Antietam. And of course, uh, uh, what happened here is, uh, uh, you can see it's got this marvelous uh, six-sided folk star, uh, which was uh, somewhat rare and it is on silk. And during that battle at Antietam, this flag was dropped in the field, okay, by the 11th Mississippi. And uh, it was picked up by Sergeant Major Kidd and handed to, uh, uh, to Colonel Wilder Dwight. And Colonel Wilder Dwight said, let me have this. And of course, as you notice, uh, this comes right out of the story of Dances with Wolves. When you ride across the Confederate line with their flag, it makes them very angry. And they were all shooting at Colonel Wilder Dwight and he was hit twice. And uh, in real life, you do get shot. And, uh, and he, he died a few days later, he bled out and died. And this flag was given to uh, his mother and she kept it for many years and then donated it to the Mollus uh, collection in Boston, which is the military order of a loyal legion of the United States it was a fraternal organization founded upon the death of Lincoln. It's still, it's still active today, and the flag came to us. And we have it here in the collection as a, uh, as a marvelous collection and, and, and an image from that time that uh, evokes all of that passion and, and commitment uh, to, to the defense of the country. Uh, we do have a painting uh, uh, of Colonel Wilder Dwight that carried that flag, and we're going to walk over and take a look at that now. And I do have a, uh, a letter that he wrote, and uh, it's on the 17th of September, 1862, on the field. He says this, Dear Mother, it is, it is a misty, moisty morning. We are engaging the enemy and are drawn up in the support of Hooker, who is now banging away most briskly. I write in the saddle to send you my love and to say that I am very well so far. There's a break in it because now they're ordered into combat. He puts his letter away and he moves with the troop into, in, into battle. He picks up the letter again. Dearest mother, I am wounded so as to be helpless. Goodbye, if so it must be, I think I die in victory. God defend our country. I trust in God and love you all to the last. Dearest love the Father and all my dear brothers. Our troops have left the part of the field where I lay. Mother yours, Wilder. And then he has a postscript. He says, all is well with those that have faith. 